Cheers, no Bazi Podcast Power by 104.4 FM. It's your boy CEO McClain. One time for P5. Shout to Shout Boogie. Shout to Merciless Guy Maker. Shout to Ash B. Shout to Patty. Shout to E Class. Gunshot. Gunshot. Let's give some good shots for that. That's not a good shot. My bad. That was a bomb. Come but on. I'm, I'm going to do the gunshot. Engineer. See, I had to intertwine the bomb with the gunshot. You feel how that works? I was lying. Ah. See that? See we'll how take. that works? We'll take, take it. We'll right. take. Shout to K Digital in the building. Shout out to my man Josh in the building. The two cameramen got the two angles and shit going good. We looking good, guys? Everything good? Yeah. I know the people that's listening can't really see it, but you just got to visualize with us when you walk listening that the two cameramen. I mean, we sound good, guys, so good. Good, good. That's fact. Just go with it. That's fact. We got Sydney in the building. Let's, give her, let's get some gunshots hey. from Sydney. Hey. Wow, Sydney in the building. You know what I'm saying? And she <laughs> fine, too. Hey, listen. Just throwing you know, that. Gotta watch out for P5. I mean, P5 love women. I love what I love. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, man, we got a um, very special guest in the building with us later on today. He go by the name of Young G. He got a song right now um, called Big Blunts from Stunner for Vegas. You know what I'm saying? He'll be in the building. Full time. Full time. Him with his um, manager Mustard. You know Mustard. He was on um, he, when we first started. He was um, he came through. I remember, but I just have to be honest when you. Mm-hmm. When I first read Mustard, I was like, oh, You thought DJ Mustard? Yeah. Oh, that's coming up going next. Going there again. Mm-hmm. Throw my pitch at him. Let me get a <laughs> shoot motherfucking, uh, shoot your shot. like you high ordering from the ice cream. So let me get a motherfucking, um. What is that? Yeah. Motherfucking what? What is that? Whatever the fuck comes after uh. What is uh? I don't know. It Do y'all know what's uh? I don't know what's up. It depends. What's up? It's when you ordering something. Uh, what? Uh. Move on. Okay. Hot topics. Shout out to Ashby. Yeah, hot topics. Yeah. Hot topics. Yeah. If that. they were here, they would tell you not to do that. I know, I know they would, but they not here, so. Yeah. Sorry, Ash. Sorry, Ash. So my girl is not here, and I miss y'all. I'm over here by myself. My lady's not here. I'm gonna uh, hold it down. I'm gonna hold uh, it down. She likes to start sour. Uh-huh. And did you just? Watch the I did. <laughs> We like, well, she likes to start off sour and then end on a high note. Yes. So I'm going to go in the order that she sent these in because, you know. Okay. Did she send it in the order? I'm I don't gonna know. I'm going to go in the order that she sent okay. it in because it looks like it's gloomy to sunny. Okay. And then going, all right. You got the same thing up there? Yes. Okay. Hey. Let's back out. So this story, I'm, and Ash, you know, I will fuck up the hot tub because I'm going to do my best. But boxer Patrick Day passes away from brain oh, injuries yeah, yeah, four yeah, days yeah. after. Condolences to mm-hmm. him. That's sad. Yeah, that's sad. I read that story. That's I, sad. But then that for me that poses the question: like, are these matches getting a little too dangerous? I mean, it's boxing. They, I mean, I understand it's boxing, but at the same time, mm-hmm. that was his last fight. Right. I mean, they had a thing that, that came out that said um, they wanted to see how they could make boxing safer. I mean, the only way you could make that safer is you put on head guards. Obviously, that's the only way, and that's not going to happen in the sport of professional boxing. Maybe you know when you're coming up in the ranks training and all that, they wear the head guards, or you make you make the gloves maybe lighter. I mean, you can't make the gloves lighter. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm not big on boxing. I did watch a fight. Uh-huh. I don't know if it was last week or the week before last. Mm-hmm. Somebody he had like a gash on his eye. Yeah, fucked it up, right? Oh it's fucked God. up. Yeah. I mean, and I'm like, he's blinking blood and still trying to damn fight. I mean, it's, it's a brutal sport. That's what they get paid to do. They get what, paid to get their head What back. makes you wake up one day and say, I want to get my ass beat today? I mean, no. For a living. I mean, I used to box. So you, as a boxer, you think you're going to go and win every single fight. You're not thinking you're going to go get your ass beat. You may just look at your opponent and be like, yo, this, this motherfucker got some hands. I may have to tighten up a little bit. I do things a little bit differently. But, you know, it's but a what, box. Okay, so since you were a boxer, what mm-hmm. made you say, I want to box? I was you just, just have pent up aggression or that too and i was just nice with the hands like i i, I, I am well i still am i feel i i, I ain't had a fight in a while so i know maybe rusty you gonna have to you know what i'm saying put together a little no advisory boxing match oh y'all won't do that i fuck with hell up Ooh, yeah. nah, i don't know man i, I ain't i ain't took a hell yet women. i don't hit women so you I'm, I'm not slap boxing you i just probably tap you then box. what i do for you I just hit you one time to make you know like shit is real and I'll stop. You know, the last person that said that uh-huh. I was like, go ahead now. Uh-huh. I'm gonna hit you one time, it's gonna be a rap. Mm-hmm. Ended up running for me. Oh shit. I'm scared of you now. Alright, gunshot. Don't be afraid, I'm just saying. Let's put some gunshots out there. P5 will fuck you up. I will. Alright, now nah, but um it's a sad, sad thing, man. I mean I was watching his Instagram and stuff like that. How he's prepared. then the people were saying that, yo, 
because it was rescheduled to a certain day. So they were saying that if they didn't do that rescheduling, he'd have probably still been here today. So, I mean, it's a sad story, man. Boxing is a brutal sport. Me, particularly, I don't know how them changing it will make it safer. But do you think that this will make them... I mean, you can't reconsider. Nah, there's no way you can make what this you mean, sport though, Somebody just die. I mean, boxers die every day, B. I'm just, I'm just saying, they do. There's no way you can make it safer. But you know, there prayers up to Patrick Day. There's no, there's no way. We send our condolences. Going to this is Patrick Day, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next on the list, moving on. Aaron Dion or Dean, my bad, released on bond after being arrested and charged for the fatal shooting of Atiyah. Let's Patrick. flush him down the toilet. He definitely deserves two flushes. Yeah, let's flush him down the toilet. And a clock. I mean, how, how you release this dude? I mean. Yeah, Are a, you really surprised? I'm not surprised, no. So some of the comments that I've been reading is like, wake up, they're hunting us, we need to arm ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like, do you feel like we are on the verge of a civil war? Fuck a civil war. Are we are on the verge of a civilian war, just on cops general. Because, I mean, this, and we talked about this, we brushed on it a lot of times, it's the old story, you know, um, cop shoot civilian, no matter what the race, cop shoot civilian, Cop goes to, um, gets desk job, go to trial, either gets a light sentence or gets off. That's or, or gets you know, hugs on the way to or jail. Or gets hugs or whatever. You know, in this case, I mean, and you know that they had, they put out that it was like the girl had a gun. She said she had a gun in the window. So then they're putting that narrative out there. So it make it seem like, okay, he was shot through the window because, she, you know, he felt threatened because she had a gun in the window. And for those who are not familiar, by now you should all be familiar. Mm -hmm. with the story. Atiana Jefferson was shot in front of her nephew. She mm -hmm. was babysitting her nephew. Mm -hmm. There was a wellness chick mm -hmm. called in. That's a non-violent or non-emergency call. Right. Why the officer walked up to the house with his gun already drawn? First of all, he didn't even get his complete sentence out before firing right. shots. Mind you, he shot outside. That part. Right. So, yeah. I mean. So that officer was released on bond. Yeah, and it's crazy thing that they allowed him to quit. He wasn't even fired. No, so he, he shot up there like, you know what, I resign. You know, that's... that's just but this is like the second situation within, what, like a month or two in Texas? Yeah, this happened like, yeah. So like Texans week, are weeks. like coming out, I'm afraid, I'm scared, I fear for my life. We're right. not even safe in our home. They're having town meetings. Right. And to, to piggyback off that, it's like, where are we safe at, right? Because Nowhere. Not the movies. No, not nowhere. at home. Not, not at church. church. <laughs> nowhere. We can't nowhere. even be safe in our own tribes. Nowhere. Like, you know? And like, it's, it's prompted me and not even, the conversation started, well, it didn't start here, but not too long ago, everybody's like, you need to educate your black men, educate your mm -hmm. sons, educate your nephews, right. your brothers. Now we have to educate everybody. Right. Like, I'm having to have conversations with my five-year-old daughter. Like, mm -hmm. Baby, if you see a police officer, just do what they say. Mm -hmm. Don't get sassy. My teenager, oh, she has so much mouth. Mm -hmm. I have to tell her, like, you got to chill. Don't be talking back. Don't do what you see mama do. Right. Yeah. Because I, mean, I will ask, no, I don't have to show you nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm that person. But watching this is like, dang, like, I kind of want to live to see my children right. grow up mm -hmm. and vice versa. So we have to now change the conversations that we're having at the dinner table. Right. But... To what? Right. If you can't even sit in your own home and play video games without the fear of being shot down, mm -hmm. the fuck? Yeah, I mean, the narrative definitely has to change. I mean, because, you know, cops are supposed to protect and serve, right? So that was their initial goal when they signed up for the academy. Yeah, protect but their and serve, training but it's not wasn't protect, protect and serve. serve. Right. It was exterminating That's us. That's it. Right. I, well, you know what? I want to, um, I think I want to, like, I, I want to see if we could, um, set it up where we could like attend a, um, a cop academy training and see what they actually go through. I would be you down know, for I would, you. Know, I, obviously, you as know they're going to probably... bring my yes. legal piece. I mean, I don't think nothing's going to happen transpire there. Yeah. But I think that's something that that should be done. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if I can make that shape. I think that would be dope. That would be dope. You know, no advisory going through. And maybe they could listen to a few suggestions. All right. I'm, I'm going to see if I can make that shape, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pull some strings. So piggybacking off of... I'm not even going to say his name anymore. We're going to say her name, Atiana mm -hmm. Jefferson's case. Yes. Um, NBA baller Harrison Barnes. Yeah, round of applause for, for that. Right. Let's get a round of applause for Harrison Barnes. I think that is that's that's dope. noble. That's dope. That's dope. That's noble. So he's agreed to cover all charges, mm -hmm. stepped up to foot the entire bill. And, mm -hmm. hey, yo. 
What up, Stacey? One of our honorary members as well. Thank right. You. But um, him doing that, it, it, it makes you feel like maybe mm -hmm. there's a little bit of hope. Mm -hmm. I don't think... Okay. Okay. I'm going to say it. I don't think black people are as harsh as white people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think we're more accepting. I think we're more forgiving. Mm -hmm. I think we've had to be that way because we take more hits than any other race in this country. Right. But um, I think when we, when we start to step up and band together, we can get so much more done. Mm -hmm. I have seen love starting to slowly return to the world. Mm -hmm. Very slowly, even with everything going Through on. Through what, though? Anything. Okay. I've seen more youth giving back. I've mm -hmm. seen more charitable acts. Even though I'm, I'm not 100% in agreement with always posting it, mm -hmm. I feel like if you're going to do it, just do it. Right. But I'm seeing it more. Mm -hmm. And that gives me a little bit of hope. Right. I mean, I, this is a noble move. I think it was it wasn't it Harrison Barnes and somebody else though. I know I, I read the I story. I don't know. All I saw was his name. I they were saying that. Him. Let me see. Hold on. I know it was somebody else. But anyway, it, it don't matter who did it. It was a noble move, and I just think that it just shows solidarity between us and in the, in the community. Um, you know that these acts. I mean, granted, they're not going to stop. It's just you know we have to come together as a people and just and we gotta. Stand for something. If you, if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything, right? And I, I, I say that because I had a um, thing in my job situation. Um, you know, got to stand up for what I believe in. Stand up, you know, for what's right is right. So I, 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 I applaud Harrison Barnes again. Give a round of applause for Harrison Barnes. And I think there's another party involved with it. But you know, this is good. But it's like, where, where is the, what's the end goal of this? You know, I'm, a, I'm a call. I'm not. You know, this ain't my statement is not getting ready to be racist. I'm just. Mm -hmm. White people, y'all got to start speaking up. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to stop ignoring this shit. Y'all got to start speaking up. I was mm -hmm. watching a new special, mm -hmm. and the um, the host, it was a, a Caucasian woman, I don't mm -hmm. remember her name, and a black male, mm -hmm. and she was more ex upset than he was, and I appreciated it, mm -hmm. because I'm like, y'all y'all got to start saying something. Mm -hmm. This shit is not okay. Right. No There's not going to be no spin that they can turn on this to, to justify my eyes. Mm -hmm. Her murder. Right. And granted, there are, you know, killings all over the world, white, black, Asian, you know, but it, it just seems like in our community is more hype. Oh, for sure. You know, it's always in the news. And let me tell you something, these, these, these new little niggas don't care. So, uh. Um, yeah, they damn sure don't. Yeah, they give us a good. They, they, they bust a nose for real. They Cut don't shots care. For real. They, they damn sure don't. Yeah, but, um, you know, Moving rest on. in peace to, um, Atiana Jefferson. Shout out to, um, Harrison Barnes and the other party. I know it's two parties involved, um, you know, for doing that. All right, so this next, this next storyline is Ashby <laughs> sent over. It, it is uh -huh. a video, so I don't know if she wanted to be queued up. Oh, this. okay, queued up. You okay. got it on the thing. We're gonna queue up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna play? I can play through it. Go ahead. Okay. So El Chapo's son was arrested and mm -hmm. released after cartel members outnumbered the police to take him back. How you pull up with the game and say, "Give me my nigga." And they do it. They do it. All right, let's go to the order. Forces traded gunfire with heavily armed members of the Sinaloa drug cartel yesterday before taking Ovidio Guzman Lopez into custody. That is the son of the notorious drug kingpin Joaquin Guzman, better known as El Chapo. But under heavy fire, Mexican forces let the younger Guzman go. They say they had to to protect lives. Errol Barnett is here. Errol. This unfolded rapidly and violently, and they let him Pause go. it. What's up Pause with it. That? Listen here, pretty game. If I get locked up and y'all don't come for me like that to the like police that. station, I'm not fucking with you no more. If y'all don't step up to the plate like El Chapo's son's people did, we can't fuck with each other no more. I don't want to go out to lunch. Ain't no brunch. Ain't no day party. Ain't no night party. Don't tell me about your motherfucking birthday because I don't want to hear it. If y'all don't. Show me that kind of love we not fucking with each other. Yo, wait. I, can I rewind that? What he said? He said they had to what? Hold on. I got to For the safety of the people. For the safety of the people, they, they had, had to let them go. They had to let them go. Let my people go. Oh, hold on. Bruh, 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 bruh. For the safety For the of the people, people, they had to let this That's cartel crazy. guy crazy. go. Yo, I you know what? He got to get a round of applause for El Chapo, man. <laughs> El Chapo's son. Crazy. You know what? But that just goes to show you how much weight his that name holds. Not even the the, the guy in particular. Just the name. And not the TV. That shit is in real life. That shit real life. That shit is crazy. Hold Ain't on. no script. The whole of this Let's demonstrates it. just how powerful the Sinaloa drug cartel See? still is, despite its kingpin being behind bars. 
All right. And uh, that is that was a perfect segue. It's how powerful. The guys behind bars is sunny. Yo, that shit crazy. Shout out to El Chapo, yo. I'm gonna get to that status one day. Can no about to get to that status? I'm not talking about the drug cartel. To what a gang pull up, no, no, no. out of jail, we get locked up. That too, like yo, yo get, get some rides for no advisory. Y'all better ride. You know what I mean? Fuck that shit. Y'all better go to, ride. Go to war for no advisory, man. Okay. Right. Gunshot to death. Gunshot. So I can't. What's the next one? You want to take the next one? Huh? No, I ain't. Gonna, I, I mean, can't. I can't see it. It's blank on my. Huh? Head. It's Mary, Mar Mar um, the marijuana br um, breath test. Shit. It was something before that. But I told y'all this was yeah. coming. We was talking about marijuana becoming legal and right. all these. Pop up CBD shops. I said that's just a test out how niggas gonna act right. with this CBD. But I heard a commercial on the radio like three months ago mm -hmm. that was saying that driving while high is the same thing as driving while drunk. It's not. No, who said the, that? The, it was uh, a commercial on the radio. Hold on, hold on. Gotta flush him down the toilet because that is a false narrative. It is not the same thing. Oh. Weed and alcohol is not the same thing. But you, you cannot can compare something that's grown from the earth to something that's man made. That's fine. But being high is a great You thing. might hit a few more potholes and curves than no, you would. No. no, okay. Listen. All right. I don't No, I don't work because my job does random drug tests. But I, CBD is legal. It, that's legal. But I'm just saying, when you under. I'm not even going to say influence, because when you say you're under the influence, you're under the influence when you're alcohol. When you're high, actually high stimulates the brain. It makes you more keen. Your, your senses are more, you're like Spider-Man when you Some strains. Some strains. I mean, if you got the garbage shit, the garbage shit. Reaction. Right. The garbage shit is going to make you feel that way. It's going to be like, you're going to be. But the good strain, if you pay for good quality okay. weed, you are we just, going we just to be high right intelligent. Let me tell y'all. Let, let me tell y'all. Marijuana breath test could be official yes. by next year. That's what we're talking about. And I heard a radio commercial mm -hmm. that was stating, you know, Flushed not to phone. drive while under the influence of marijuana. Oh, but here's my thing. How is this breathalyzer actually going to detect weed? But my thing is that. But how are you going to know somebody's high? That's what I'm saying. Random stops? <laughs> That's not going to make any sense. Nah, I think if you are driving like... But weed doesn't make you do that. Alcohol does. When I was high, I invested never did. Invested eye drops. <laughs> <laughs> invested eye drops. That's not gonna stop you from breathalyzer, uh, though. No, it won't. But your eyes won't be bloodshot red. But I'm just saying, I don't need. I don't know how they're gonna stop. Actually, stop people from. Um, if like they smell a, it. Because how I they gonna smell you driving? Listen, listen, listen. Don't front like you ain't been on the highway, you ain't right. been on Independence Boulevard, you ain't been on Vegas for the car uh -huh. past you, mm -hmm. and you smell that gum. Nah, I haven't. Lie and say you ain't. I haven't. I have. I drive too fast. I smoke. have. Nobody so you else driving has slow. You have? Yes. Well, you must I have been like at a stoplight or no, something. No, and then they got and then to get heard it. And then right. It. No, even Bestie and Bestie does not partake in anything. Bestie, I said, oh. Oh, somebody's partaking. Right, because I mean, if you Lord. stop, right? No, not even stopping. There's no way you can smell yes, it on it a highway. Way. Yes, it is. That's fucking impossible. No, it's not. There's no way. I'm living no proof. I'm sitting here telling you. There's no way. How you can smell it on a highway? You, you driving the wind is you blowing. You can. You must be driving two miles an hour. No. To no. If they pass you and they are smoked Traffic. out, right, right, and you got right, your right. vents on, you got your air on, or you got your heat on, everything that's coming through the vent. It's but how of, how close are you actually to the person? You don't have to be close. To I think you're making it a little more science than it has to be. Nah, this shit is crazy. There's no way. We're gonna Just because you haven't that. experienced it, we're gonna post that on page. That's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna do a poll. And it's gonna go in my favor. We're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna do a poll. We're gonna do a poll. I don't know how y'all can smell weed. If I'm at a stoplight. And two people in the room have told you. Who was the two people? Okay, we had Sydney. Who else? What's up? Me. Nigga. You don't fucking count. What you mean? You don't fucking count. Have you have you smelled weed when you drive it? No, right. Have you smelled weed when you No. You got No. So that's three, four. To y'all two. I don't know where the fuck y'all driving. Put How, the up. I don't know where y'all drive. Put the up. How y'all I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Because and I have smelled it from other cars. This gotta be a female thing. No, 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 no. I, 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 there's no way. It don't matter smell. what kind of weed it is. Like I've smelled it. Smell out, out of the hood, you know what I'm saying? In the yeah. Well, yeah, what well, he said. Smell I don't even know. Some other shit. Anyway, There's no way. No any, way. Anyway. Put but anyway, put the poll up. I put the poll up. Put the I poll did, up. I, didn't show up. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but. Come for me like uh, this. Anyway, yeah, moving really on. You're going to get a really nigga. Hold on. You're going to get a really nigga. Moving on. Really <laughs> Michael Jackson's musical is set to premiere on Broadway in summer. Oh, yeah. 2020. I like that. 
I mean, I like I'm that. excited about that. No, I don't want to hear y'all excited about that because last time when y'all was talking about it, I want to see no, no I'm hologram. I'm not going to see no hologram. I want to see Whitney hologram. Now we got a Michael Jackson hologram. Now motherfuckers want to see the shit. Well, that's different. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bruh. Get him, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's different. Really, nigga? Yeah, we're going to get all of them shits. That's Michael. Oh, because it's Michael. This is Whitney. And? What's the difference? They both, I... I don't want to see any hologram. I'm just, I'm just say that. But what I said specifically was I was not going to go pay to see that. That's what I said. I'm not going to pay to see that. But, okay, so you will pay to see Michael? Michael. Oh shit! You see the see the double standard. You can't do that. You gotta be you gotta be even killed. You no, can't you don't. Say, Me and you ain't gonna go say fucking all the time, so Whitney I'm Houston. Mine. <sighs> 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 you really nigga. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Say your shit. You I said say. it. I said men use double standards against women all the time. I'm talking about Michael Jackson. Hold on. Oh, they got it. We got an audio. It's clip. the audio. Can you play that? All right, you got it. Up. All right, let's go. Oh, that's it. I think that's it. That's it? I think that's it. Ayo, Ash. <laughs> give me some shit with some audio. Just give me, it just gave me some. I don't want to hear that shit. But you knew. Uh, you knew. Can you tell I was Michael, though? Hell yeah. Okay, I told it was Michael. Towards the yeah. end, you know that's Michael. I don't know. Play it again. Hold on, play it again. Hold on. Wait for the end. Yeah, that right there. What song does that get ready to start? That's Thriller. That's Thriller, but for... No, that ain't Thriller. That is Thriller. What is that? That's Beat It. Yeah. That's Beat It? Yes. That's Beat It. That's Beat It. Oh, shit. That's Beat It, for real. That's Beat It. Oh, my God. Hold on, one more time, one more time. Oh, my God. One more time. No, not that part. Okay. 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 Let's beat it. 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 let us beat it 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 let us what would you choose to do? That sounds like an entrepreneurial question. Because if I didn't have to work and I and I don't need the money, I'm doing this shit all day. That's entrepreneurial shit. That's an entrepreneurial question. I mean, I think we all could agree to that, right? That's an entrepreneurial question. You know, question today, huh? You gonna do what your passion is? Right, you gonna do what your passion is? Obviously, you know what I'm saying? So that's easy. That was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. So that wraps up Hot Topics. Oh, let's get around the applause for Hot Topics. Done by one time, be fine. One time. So, man, we're going to get into our artist of the week. Uh, this artist goes by the name of Kamaya Rose. Rose. Yes, I mean, I love this girl. I love her, her vibe. I love her energy. I mean, she always um, put out great music. So I was like, you know, she had a song out and I saw it. It just kind of, because she always like showing us love on the gram and all that right. shit. So when I saw it, let me go to her pages. And I was like, oh, she got a song called Slow Wine. This shit is how I played. I'm like, oh, this is really good. So, you know, made the artist of the week, man. So this song goes by the name of Slow Wine, artist of the week, Kamaya Rose, Slow Wine, no advisory. Bang. Bang. She didn't say that was our artist of the week. She goes by the name of Kamaya Rose, and that was Slow Wine. Slow Wine artist. Y'all know what it is. If y'all want to be an artist of the week, just email us at noadvisorypromo at gmail.com. That is noadvisorypromo at gmail.com. So let's, let's, let's drop some balls. Let's drop some horns. Drop some hand claps. Let's drop some more bombs, <laughs> some more sirens, gunshots. We got a very special guest in the motherfucking building with us today. He go by the name of Young OG. Let's give her another round. What's good with it? What's good with it? He got a song right out, out right now called Big Bloods. What's done it for Vegas? It's loud. It's slap. Let's give another bomb for that. Yes, it's done it for Vegas. Hold on, let's give this Young OG in the building. I kind of feel like we good on the bombs. 
This motherfucker blowing up. He's everything. He's everything. He's everything. I mean, he came with the atomic bomb. No, you just came with the atomic bomb. There's nobody else. There's another bomb. Yo, OG, the motherfucker good with us, man. No advisory podcast. Yo, let the people know who you are, where you from, and what the fuck you do, young OG. What's good with it, man? I'm young OG. I'm from Charlotte. I mean, I come from a smaller town in Peaceland, North Carolina. But I mean, I'm in, I'm in the city right now where I'm about to take over. Ain't nothing, and this ain't no secret, you know what I'm saying? Facts, man. So you got the song out right, out right now called Big Blunts. It's, it's Fuego. We done played it. I mean, everybody had their phones out recording it lit. We got the fool by Educator. Shout out to Educator. Shout out to Educator. And shout out to Buster for coming. Right. It's a boss for that. You know that performance. I'm supposed to be on the liquid diet. You got me in these double up chicken mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah. 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 But um, you know, you came through. You dropped the song with us, man. Let let pe- let the people know first how the song came about. How you looked up with Stunner, all types of shit. You know, Stunner, he's hot right now. Shout out to Stunner, shout out to Baby. That's shout not the BGB. intro. That's not huh? the intro that you're supposed to say to him. What you mean? I was let talking the about the song. I, we did that. He was doing that. He did that already. See, you, oh, see, you got the punch. I was introducing the song and how the song came about. She done fucked me up. Y'all good, y'all good, y'all good. We all lit. We can play with him. Yeah, let me put on the song came out. Man, we we working in the same spot, and you know my engineers like we 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 we'll sound good together. So he put it together. Yeah, my my engineer said we'll sound good together. So he put it together for me. And bro was genuine, and the same coming back because I came in the studio with big blunts, and bro got down, came in that booth, I'm smoking on big blunts. Mm-hmm. That's how the song came up. Facts. So um, big blunts. So let the people know. Does, how does, I mean, you know you said how the song came about, but I just want to know, because you know Stunner right now is hot, you know, you got the baby, is hot right now, represent for Charlotte, North Carolina. Are you originally from Charlotte, North Carolina? Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Peaceland, North Carolina. Peaceland, North Carolina. So what kind of sound are you bringing to the Carolinas as opposed to what Stunner and Baby is bringing? Right now, I'm bringing the country swag, if you're band, which All right. like, you can look at me, you don't even see I'm from the country, but if you hear me, you hear my accent, you know what I'm saying? My accent will tell you I'm from the country. Yeah, you damn more country. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I, shit. I, he country. P5, what you got, P5? Well, first of all, ain't nothing wrong with being country. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with you, because you country too. You uh, Atlanta Peach, right? Yeah. yeah. So you country too. So but I'm can... from Charlotte. I've been here since I was six. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm a Georgia Peach from the Carolinas. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so like, the song was Stunner. When you recorded that, when you heard it, was it instant like, oh, this shit gonna go? Hell yeah. Like, I came in, like, literally, like, we came up with the song, like, I just came in here, like, this, it's smoking blunts, the bit just happened, just like that. Like, it literally just happened, like, out of nowhere. Is it a part of a project? No, this was just a single, single, like, yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, like, this was some, sh- this was some stuff that we literally, like, didn't plan it. Like, I came in there and it was like the, the vibe we had together. Mm-hmm. You know? So what you gonna do with it? You gonna... We gonna run with it. Right. That's it. We gonna run like fours, no cap. Not like fours, no cap. <laughs> so what are some of, um, what are some of your, like, your musical influences in the game right now? Like, right now, my favorite artist is Future. Uh, so, Shout Future. Yeah. yeah so oh, I'm, 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 I'm taking over, like, on some Future shit. Mm-hmm. Do you have a project on the way? No, I'm dropping straight singles. I'm about to kill them with singles. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna make y'all demand a project. Definitely. Yes. I like that. Definitely. Straight singles and well, shit. Well, I'm demanding one right now. Stunner just reached for us the other day. We just had put the uh, we had just put the memes the memes on uh, on Instagram and everything. Uh-huh. You feel what I'm saying? Starting to reach for us. You feel uh-huh. what I'm saying? Like, you know what it is? You know what? I we gonna keep pushing. We need a fucking mic. We gonna put the gas on it. We gonna put the yeah. gas on That's it. I ain't tripping about it. Real talk. We gonna put the gas on mm-hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? Power 98 about the um. You need a fucking mic. Bless your eyes. Nobody can't hear. I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. He talking about you good, but you spending time. I'm gonna ask you. 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 I'm gonna ask Hey, yo, man, I'm going to shout out to people that you got. You know, there's a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Let us know who in the country. I got my game with me. I got my boy, my, my graphic designer, Wade. Got what my up? cameraman, Fan. What this, up? This is my manager, Dennis B. What up, DB? This, this is one of my uh, artists right here, Wazzy. What up, Wazzy? That's up? another member right there, Grinding. What up, Grinding? You know, Grinding, she mad. She mad. Let me tell you something. Before we started, he said, I hope they don't hear me smacking on this mic. He ain't lifting his head up since we started. Oh, this mic is on. I got the man with the plan moves over there. 
They go with you everywhere? Pumps. Yeah, everywhere. So what's your story, man, for the people that, you know, that you want to know what you're doing and what you get, the type of music that you bring, what is your story? Like, people listen to your music, what you want people to get out of your music and what, how you want them to feel when they listen to your music? Like, me, I came from nothing. So when you see me, you will, like, you won't think I came from nothing. So if you, if you know me, like, like, it'll be, it's hard, to, it's, it's really, I would say it's kind of hard to explain for somebody that really don't listen to my music because I'm going to express all my feelings in my music. I'm going to let you hear the pain, I'm going to let you hear the struggle, I'm going to let you hear me, me, me being up, I'm going to let you hear me being down, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, I feel like I relate to anybody and everybody right. because not everybody is rich, right. you know what I'm saying? Fact. So what's something that, something about you that you wish you could relate to people that you haven't told anybody? Um, something about me that... Really, I, I I'm no secret. Like I don't hide nothing. Like what you see is what you get. Like nothing. Nothing. I don't hide okay. nothing. Like I ain't nothing. I gotta hide. Okay. He said, he, he got, "Listen, man, everybody got something they gotta hide." You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shit. I gotta hide. I don't Listen, know. Everybody got like, motherfucking like, skeletons. Like, stay me, away from I my clothes. With me right now, like I like I'm all in on this music. So this is my life right now. Right. So. If it ain't got nothing to do with music, I'm not doing it. Right, I got you. So, like, what are you, who are your who who's in your MP3 list? Who who you listening to right Other now? You say you say Future, Young right? OG. I only OG. listen to myself. Oh, let's get a round of applause for that. Right. That's a perfect answer. I always love that answer. You know why? Because you have to be your biggest fan. Yeah. If right. you're not your biggest fan, then what are you into the music for? What are you doing it for? So for I, I respect. I always respect the answer. I always say, yo. I'm uh, me. I'm the top five. One, two, three, four, five. I respect that. Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. Listen, you know, I'm keep coming for me. Shout out to my man Dylon. I was talking the other day. He's supposed to do the. Uh, that's my man. That's my man. He and me was like, yo, um, the band's coming back out. I'm, I, I know you in Charlotte. I need you to do something for me in Charlotte. I'm like, yo, Dylon, whatever you need, I got you. Whatever I can do, I got you. Then like two weeks, like a, two days later, like yo, the show canceled. I was like, come on, dog. How you? And I was just about to go, like, yo, my man Dylon making a band coming out on that shit. But uh, anyway, anyway, shout out to my man Dylon. They gotta go, start covering my man Dylon, man. Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. Nah, new couple man Dylon. So, okay, so let the people know again, where you from again? You say you from? Peachland, North Carolina. Peachland, North Carolina. So what, is the, the, yeah, so what is the sound like? What is, how is it in Peachland, North Carolina for people? Because I mean, I'm from up, up north, Brooklyn, New York. So I don't really know what's going on. So let the people know who's not from there. What's going on down there, down there in Peachland? Is it like gutters? Is it like Honestly, uppity? What is it? it? It's, it's nothing. It's like they want you to have nothing down there. Mm -hmm. And me, right. it's like I overcame that. That's mm -hmm. why I'm, I want more. Right. And when you're there, it's like people content with what they have. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that's not that's not how I want things to be. I'm gonna change it. Like I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna put stuff there to make them want more. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's going. It's like I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a better vision than they have right now. Right. Cause they like right now they thinking nobody from Peace can ever make it, and I'm gonna show them this like that's that's not true. Mm -hmm. Facts. What's the craziest story you have from being on the road? Mm -hmm. They shaking their head. <laughs> oh, you can even answer. Wait, when he almost killed us. Oh, oh you almost man. killed motherfucker. But oh, we almost shit. ran off a lid, like oh, a ledge, like. Shit, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I need that story. <laughs> like really, we smoking and driving. Oh, you know they got the breath of shit that's about to come out with this <laughs> narrow <American water, laughs> right? what, what did he say? Nah, I don't fuck with you if you smoke it and drive it. Yes, it I'm, does. I just had to throw that in there, but there's no way they're going to know that you're a high driver unless you do some um, some crazy shit. But that's that what I some said. crazy shit right there. Like, oh, yeah, y'all got pulled over. They had to put that shit in front of your mouth. Like, oh, y'all motherfuckers. Hold that. I would have went by damn oh. said, like, you need to take my ass right now. Bruh. <laughs> 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 Was that here? Yeah, we was on the way to Atlanta. We had a show in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And we, last minute, speeding. That about been the last show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got okay, any shows okay. coming up next? Right, and we trying to book our own shows. We ain't, like, we, we, that's, the, that's, the, that's the plan right now. We booking our own venue. Facts. You don't have that Facts. number booked yet? No, now, as of right I'm now. I'm trying to pull up. Right. As of right now, we you ain't see, got she's no. trying to make her pitch, right? She's, she's wasn't trying no pitch. To, I'm just trying, trying to, to pull pitch. up and enjoy like, the show. Pull up and do, do what I gotta do. I ain't mad at you. I'll be fine. I have most people do. I ain't mad at you. What do you say? Put me on the spot. I, I, that's, that's what we do, man. Hello. We put people on the spot. Man. That's fine. Hey, yo, so being that, like I always tell artists, right? I was like, you know, there's like a million artists, right? And this is like the, the industry of the little fucking peephole. It's like billions of artists trying to get to the peephole. What? 
What what separates you from all the artists that's trying to get through that motherfucking people that if somebody on the other side was like, you know what? Um you discovered doing motherfucker, oh I like this dude right here. What is gonna be your separation from every artist that's out there doing what they're doing now? I'm original. And I'm original and like literally ain't no cap in my rap. When you see me, when you hear me, you know that's what you're getting. Like you know I'm the dude that like Literally, when you see, like, everything you see and everything you hear come out of my mouth, you can look at me and say, oh, yeah, he did that. Mm -hmm. That's how I know I'm going to make it. Facts. So what's your ultimate goal? Do you want to um, sign independently or do you want, like, distribution? Like, what is your ultimate goal with the music? I wouldn't mind signing, but you got to give me my word. I need, I need at least three mil, to be honest. Oh, shit. Oh, Damn. Man. You gotta give me my yeah, word. Yeah, no, we need three mil tonight. Uh -huh. And like, I'm gonna show you why. Like, ain't no, like I said, ain't no cap in my rap. Mm -hmm. You gonna see every, you gonna see why I want all that. Right. And why I'm gonna get it. Facts. I, I like this guy. I like his energy. You know what Drop I'm saying? A Drop a beat. Drop a Drop Let's a beat. Let's do it. Oh, oh shit! I don't freestyle. Oh, my style ain't free, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> my style ain't free. I hear that. All right, we got we got nobody to punch. That'd be good as as collateral. Does, does that work? I cater. Damn. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All right, I gotta come with a comeback. <laughs> 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 you done came with a comeback. Cause niggas did smash the food. Niggas did smash the food. Oh, man. Man, I couldn't even say nothing about this shit. You damn sure did, Kayla. I got nothing. All right, you know what? I got a question. So, you know, we got the BT board. Yo, y'all niggas. Yeah, it's clouded in love. I'm taking fucking contact right now. CBD is legal. Yes, yes, it is. That's not CBD, though. Yeah, this is CBD. This is CBD. This is CBD. I forgot. I don't think it's CBD. We fucked up. We this follow CBD. Time. But yo, the <laughs> BT Wars that just came out, you know, shout out to the BT Wars, shout out to everybody performing in the BT Wars and everything like that. Um, you know, so certain artists, when they, they have like an end goal, right? Certain artists want to be the best they're in. Some artists are in it for the money. So what is your end goal? Like, I don't even want to say 10 years because 10 years, I always feel is a stretch. Next year, where, where do you, from now, where do you want to be at next year? At this particular Day was it 10 19 2019 pm next year 2020 10 19 pm where do you want to be i'll be i'll be somewhere in a, in a mansion with my family you know what i'm saying because like that's what it's about with me right i want to see my mom out there here. right like when she good i'm good right like all the other stuff don't matter to me you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying facts because I mean, you say with the mansion, are we invited though? Yeah, y'all invited. You of course. Listen, I want my own room. The shit gotta <laughs> sing. The shit gotta sing. Welcome CEO. I'm <laughs> doing. I want to have like a red. I don't know what it gotta be like red fucking velvet and shit mm. in, in front of my door and shit. You got that? <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when I walk on the when I walk on the shit, I'm gonna be barefooted like ah. That's for sure, for sure, for sure. And walk into the room. That, you got you got me, young? Yeah, for sure. I got you. No, he said he got it. For sure. He said he got it. What, what you say, Welch? Huh? No, nigga, you said he said barefoot. Barefoot, <laughs> <laughs> toes, toes all out. You know what I'm saying? Nails not done. Listen, man, that's up the sheets. Oh, right. That's a little compared to where I know we going. Like, that's a little. That's right. If you could work with any rapper or any producer, period, dead or alive, who would it be? I told you my favorite artist is Future. Future. So Future. Like I'm producer not too. My. Uh, yeah, Cause a lot of producers in the game right now. It is it's a whole lot. Shout out to Tony on my beat too. Who did the uh, who did the tracks? Yeah, Give a ball. Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out Stunner. Shit. I can't even tell you. I don't go lie to you. But dude, the producer I'm working with now is all I need. So I ain't even about to. You need y'all need y'all need to look up Munchie, Glacier, and Zara. Monkey Glacier is out. No, Munchie. Munchie. Who is Munchie? Munchie. Who is Munchie? That's the name. Who is Munchie? Yeah. Right, I'm going to look him away from. Uh, Columbia. Columbia. But they in Charlotte. They work at Audio Box. Oh, shout out to Audio Box. Yeah, I'm going to Audio Box. Fucking that studio. But we also got other studio if y'all interested. My man, um, KB Montiago Visual. He's got a dope studio just open. You know, he's running specials and shit right now. I got to plug my man in there. So if y'all want to record it, Oh, oh my shit. god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put that up and, and just tighten that shit right there. Ah.
Right there, you got that. All right, so. Yeah, 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 right there. They go, so, they all right. They're going to let my boy come in there and smoke yeah, his big blood while he's while he recording. Quit that. Of course. You can come there and smoke, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Listen, if I say y'all good, y'all good. Good. Y'all good. Y'all good. Like, that's all. Just be like, yo, I ain't going to be there, though. <laughs> 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 hey, but you got to put up and get the preview. I, I do that. I do that. I'm like, yo, blah, 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 blah. All right, yeah. All right, so you know, right? This industry is, is a big motherfucking industry, right? And I. I I want to ask small. this question, huh? Big but small. Big but small. Because a lot of motherfuckers know each other. I'm just talking about as far as like female wise, right? As far as the industry goes. Like, there's a lot of. I uh, shout out to, let's get a round of applause for all the um, female MCs that's out. Styling, my girl P5. We got Nikki, we got Cardi. We got, it's a, we got Jazz, Jax. There's a whole bunch of female artists, right? So, if there's one female art, MCs, artists. I said, right? If there was one female MC artist that you would work with, who would it be and why? I would work with Nikki, because she... Nikki? Yeah. Hell yeah. Nikki? Well, she's I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna hate on Nikki. What? Even though, I mean, there's a lot of other artists. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, if y'all ain't fucking with Nikki, you sleep. No, I, I mean, and I had the story, I was talking with these guys, like, coming up with music. <laughs> shout out to Loose Stars, shout out to the Hood Stars, when Nikki was first doing it. I done been in sessions with all these motherfuckers. Nikki is, she's nice. But this Nikki now, mm, I mean, sometimes she throws some little hints. From back in the this day, Nikki. This commercial Nikki, though. I don't want commercial Nikki. I'm right. gonna tell Nikki, take it back to Guwa. Mixtape Nikki. Okay. Mixtape Nikki. Yeah, Nikki. take it back to Guwa. Shout out to Fendi, too. Let's get around. Let's get around round for him here, Fendi. We're doing this thing. Um, but yeah, so Nikki. So why why Nikki? Because she's so lyrical. Like, she gonna give me what I want. And right. I'm gonna, and how I'm gonna come, we good. Right. So you take so you got Nikki over Cardi, obviously. Oh hell yeah! Oh, if shit. he said Nikki, Cardi wasn't even on his radar. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I just right. gotta ask. You know, because Cardi is still in the game right, right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, shout out to Cardi too. But you Cardi, know, Cardi, you a dime, but hey. <laughs> you know. I'm so gonna, Nicki Minaj. Okay, yeah, so Nicki, who? Nicki. All right, who second? <laughs> you making them think too much. I, I got to. I got to. Cause it's crazy, cause I don't really listen to women. Huh? You know, not, not nothing against y'all, <laughs> but, you know don't what I'm saying, I don't, <laughs> I don't, 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 we might have, we might have to cut his bun off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hold on, you know, I'm like, OG, don't send the woman in here. Not against y'all, you know what I'm saying, I don't, I don't really, what you got to say now, you know what I'm saying, but why not, cause, what, what are y'all, I'm trying to say, bro, Nothing because of y'all. Nah, it's because of y'all. <laughs> hey, listen, young Reggie, I was trying to save you. Baby. I was like, yo, it's of y'all. don't do it, man. You got to be honest with y'all. Nah, know. nah, nah. It ain't, it ain't nothing against y'all. Like, y'all are nice. You heard what I said, like, I, I I like Nikki. Nikki is a is a great artist. But, like, like her, for instance, like, I really know, I can't put Nikki in my CD player and um, on, my, on my iPhone and play her, list, play her album. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh. Well, keep going. But I, yeah, I can't just put Nicki on my iPhone and my and my Apple Music and just play her album because she really not talking about nothing that I can relate to. You know what I'm saying? But that's not saying that if she come on the radio, I'm not gonna listen to her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's different. Mm -hmm. If you come on the radio, I'll listen to you. But if I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to just uh, look you up and, and play you. Like, cause you not talk about nothing that I do. I'll take your say. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm out here risking my life. And you talking about none of that. I'll take it. We might have to have a conversation <laughs> off there. But I'll take it right there. I'm trying not to cut you with my eyes. I'll take it. I told you I thought you were trying lightly. Uh -oh. So you got the song Big Blunt. So I know you said you wasn't working on an EP or nothing right now, right? Nah. So you're just trying to just release the singles yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, so what, like your approach to to the music. <laughs> what you I can't see. I can't see shit. Yeah, this, this is. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I blood. see every type of cloud that was described <laughs> in elementary school in this 
Clap. Describe the clap. I don't remember the name. I know one started with a C, one started with an S, one started with an I, but all of them made this one. CSI, that sounds like a crime scene investigation. That's what that sounds like. But what I was about to get to, like, because you, your approach, like, every artist has, like, an approach to the game. Um, you know, some artists, they want to go maybe the YouTube route. Some artists want to do the, the Instagram route. Some artists want to just do something outlandish to get to get seen. So, like, what is your route? What is your path into the music industry that's different from everybody else? I'm going to just show them how the grind take off. Okay. Like, the grind gonna show them. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't ain't nothing else to to say. So what's your grind? Man? You gotta like, let people know. You you like show short answered with your with your response. Like, I, like, <laughs> like all like, I do is work. Some. Like literally, all I mm -hmm. do is work. I'm in the studio day and night. Right. Like literally, all of us. Like we go to sleep in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that that shows that this, we want it. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there ain't nothing else. Ain't nothing else to it. Like. Everybody, it, like everybody around me, mad at me for not mm. releasing the stuff that I have. Right. Because they saying I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm my biggest critic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and you have to be because it's you know it starts with you first. You have listened to the song like hey, if I don't like that, and I was just having a discussion with P. Founds like you can't listen to people's opinion as an artist if you feel strongly that this song is is I, is dead to my heart. Fuck what anybody else say. I'm going to put it out. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think a lot of artists get trapped into that um, mindset of just listening to other people. Because what you see, what the masses gravitate to, mm -hmm. it's a popularity contest. So, if this mm -hmm. is what X, Y, and Z is doing, right. some people may feel pressured to conform to that. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. Right. If you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you don't, you don't. Facts. Word. I concur. I concur with that. Right. But that ain't even it with me. Like, like I just felt like I just want to have my portfolio so built up that when it's time, like I don't have to just like make a song because mm -hmm. I need a song. Right. Like I could just go pick songs. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I got a thousand songs. Just pick one of these. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with it. Right. So what we're gonna do is, I mean, he know he got the song with Stunner for Vegas Big Blunts. We're gonna, I'm gonna let you introduce the song. We're gonna play it. Um. You introduce the song, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, Young OG. Introduce the song. This Big Blunt's by Stunner for Vegas and Young OG. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit dropped. Oh. Uh, like, OG. two, three months uh, ago. So we gonna get this uh, shit going. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Turn it up. You know Big Blunt's on G.O. Gang. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, I'm smoking Big Blunt. Yeah. I'm gonna go back and forth with no free pump. I send my little niggas to beat y'all. She a free for the D, make it eat something. He reach, I'm a teach. Come in that way you sleep. And they creep, no TLC. Uh, they blind and I see him. Be the rapper and put him on TLC. <laughs> I'm 
with no street pump. I'm similar to niggas to pee some. She a free for them, be making a piece of them. I'm a teacher. I think I got a teacher. That's me, I'll see. That's me, I'll see. Be the rapper and put him on TV. Yeah, man, so that was Big Blunts by my man Young OG featuring Stunning of Vegas when I got 20 on my beat. Give a round of applause. Let's get some bombs and some wands for that track right there, man. So, yo, man, let the people know, man. We can find you out on all social media platforms. What's coming up next? All that, man. You find me on. Go ahead. You can find me on Instagram at underscore young. Unders underscore young y u n g e o g e e underscore seven o four and it's, you can find me on um Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and all that. Just type in Big Blunt, and I got a new I got a new uh intro I got a new track called Intro coming out. It's on all platforms as well. Facts, man. So if there's one message that to your fans, to your followers, supporters that you want to give to them, what is that message? Stay tuned. Oh, stay tuned. I like that. Stay tuned. Hey, right, yo, man. Let's get a round of applause yeah. for me. Go ahead. And, and, and I, and I, oh, shit. Let's take a right round of applause. Can you tap me and I, and I put my hand That's over there? Right. I meant to do that. My fault. My fault. And I got a, uh, I got a big, I got a big blunt challenge. Oh, okay. Thousand dollars for the best dance. Oh, oh hold, hold up. Wait. Hold on. 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 He gotta get that recorded. I'm just find out about that. Go ahead. Shit. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Go ahead. I got a big blunt challenge. Thousand dollars for the best dance. Just hashtag Young OG. My manager, uh, Two Gross, and, and Mustard. And hashtag Big Blunt Challenge. Hashtag Big Blunt Challenge. Listen, ladies. Y'all want this one K? Oh, yeah, I'm in it. You should say, since I'm in it, I'm about to get this one K video coming soon. Hey, yo, man, let's get a round of applause for my man, Young OG, for coming through and stopping by with the Noah Boxy Podcast crew. I'm going to tell you, usually there's a gang of us, but y'all bought the gang, so it's kind of fitting that the gang probably didn't come, because yeah, it would have been too much in motherfuckers in here. You know what I'm saying? But yo, man, one more time, social media, one more time, Young OG. Underscore Young, Y-U-N-G-E, O-G-E-E, -E, underscore 704. Let them know on the project. Let, not even the project. Let them know the single's out now, right? The single is out right now on all platforms. Just type in intro. Not the big blunts. Yeah, big, intro and big blunts. Intro and big blunts. I was like, I know you said intro, but I was yeah. like, hold on, you gotta talk about big blunts. Yeah, we gotta talk about big blunts too. Yeah, yeah you gotta I'm talk about that I'm too, tripping, man. Trip, I'm tripping. Oh, so we should play intro. Play mm -hmm. intro. Shoot the yeah, intro. Yeah. I don't, do you got, I ain't got the email. You got the email, send me the song. Yeah, we ride right. out with intro. Okay. You know, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta send me the song. Okay. You gotta send me the, all the prevalent information that I need okay. to make uh, sure that the show Yeah, before we go, though, I got one would you rather question. Okay, would you rather? Can we do three? Nah, I just got. One. You got one. Okay. Okay. One. Would you rather question? Wait, hold on. We gotta introduce him to the Would you rather? Did we introduce? I him think it's pretty self-explanatory. Hell yeah. Okay, it's yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah. All right. I it gotta be a spicy one. It gotta be some hard shit. Spicy? Yeah, some shit that's gonna be like, damn. Like, remember when we asked um, Omar Gooden? Who was shy? Asked. Uh, was it a short leg? Or it was some shit. I don't like, remember, but it took him a minute. It took him a minute. I'm gonna ask my question. Okay, go ahead. Would you rather? Oh shit! <laughs> hold up! Hold up! All right, I'm gonna give him two then. I'm gonna, okay, all right. I'm gonna warm him up. Would you rather be with a woman that you gotta be with her for the rest of your life? Be with a woman who got good pussy. Head game is horrible. Head game is a pussy is trash. All right, wait, hold on. You said. I, Which I one? didn't get that. I didn't get Which that. One? Was it head what game? What you mean you ain't get it? She got the little. She got the Okay. That was the first. What did he say? He said he go over the head. He go over the head. <laughs> so you take the head, head over the pussy? Head, yeah. Okay. 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 What about pussy stink, though? That's huh? why, if it stink, that's why I'm getting for the neck. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on. You better be, <laughs> hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. You better get to my next question. I'm okay. I'm going to do three. Okay. So he got the next one. Okay. All right. This is a shy favorite. Oh, so the next one is is a chick with bad breath. Or a chick with ugly feet. Goddamn. But she gave me the busted toes out. Because I can get them big. Okay. 
You can get the juice, bitch? Boy, you gonna just thank it, bro? But you gotta talk to this woman every That's why I said I'm gonna go with the toes. Alright. Bad toes. Yeah, bitch, you stick with some socks on until we get done. Okay. What was that move to Eddie Murphy? Uh, Boomerang. 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 Yeah. All right, last one. Hold on, your sex life you put some colors back. Yeah. You gonna have, you want that socks yeah. on? Hell yeah. yeah. She didn't uh, touch me with those. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's in there. Bruh. It's in there. <laughs> Go ahead. Last one. This one's gonna require you to think a little more. This is completely yeah. different from the first two. Would you rather be rich for the rest of your life, but fucking miserable? Just unhappy, suicidal, just miserable. Or be broke and every day is just the happiest day of your life. Hmm. I'd rather be broke and happy. Facts. Hey. Okay. Alright, let's get around the for that broke and happy. I disagree with that shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being happy, like I'm not happy until my mama happy. Right. And right now that's what I'm doing it for oh, my shit. family because hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Like I'm doing this for my family because. Hold on, hold on. God damn, CEO. Right. Shit. <laughs> it ain't me. It's not talking about shots of criminals. Go ahead. Is it right? Go ahead. Yeah. Talk. I'm, do I'm doing this for my yeah. family because, like, growing up, my mom did everything for me. I grew up with just my mom, no dad. You know what I'm saying? And I got two other sisters. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I done been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Growing up. Mm -hmm. And this is my way of showing her that I appreciate her for everything she did for me. And yeah. happiness is priceless. I'm just saying. It damn sure is. But it is. But, you know what I'm saying? I know that her, like, that's, it's, it's just like me being happy is making her happy. But her, me being successful is her being happy, which is crazy. Like, all she want to do is see her kids be successful. And all I want to do is see my mom happy. Right. So it's like I'm gonna give her what she want in two ways. Yeah. It's like a yay and a yay. He's the provider. He's using what he gotta do to provide. I ain't mad at that. That's what you gotta do. I make a lot of artists when they get into the industry. That's the first number one thing. If they have a relationship with their parents or their mother, first they wanna do is like I'm gonna give my mother a house. You know what I'm saying? Because the, you know the mother sacrifices a lot. You know, granted to the fathers, the fathers do their thing too. But you know, it's just. A certain relationship that certain, you know, especially the opposite attract thing, the male mother figure. So I want to provide for my mom. So she, let me get another round of applause for that. Okay. Shout out to my mom. I love you, mom. Shout out to all the emotions and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Patrol, man. We want to thank my man, Young OG, for coming through and kicking in with the crew, man. One more time, let's give another, let's give a bomb. Shout out to the whole crew, man. Let's shout them out one more time. Karen, man, what's his name? Ron. That's uh, Griner. Shout out to Ron. Shout out to Griner. Wade. Two girls. Two girls, Wade, right? All right. And YZ. YZ. Shout out to the whole crew. Shout out to Mush. Shout out to Extra Catering. One more time for bringing the food and all that. She got the, uh, the what is it, the barbecue. Buffalo. Buffalo. Man, man. And then the wings is exquisite as always. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, C.O. McClain. One time for pretty fine. And yo, man, we're going to ride out to the song right now. This one is called Intro. Matter of fact, let me know my man, Young OG, um, ride out to the song. So we're going to end it off with the song, Intro. Once again, it's No Advisory Podcast, powered by 104.4 FM. And uh, we're going to ride out to this intro. We're going to let Young OG introduce that. Yeah, this intro by Young OG. You can find it on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? Go, go check it out on YouTube for sure. Bang, man. It's No Advisory Podcast, powered by 104. Power by 104.4 FM. This is the punch, man. We sound no motherfuckers. Bang. Bang. You are now live at 7.8.